Hello and welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we are taking a more in-depth look at the Mini Giant. But before we get started, roll those credits. Okay, so the mini giant, mini in nature, giant in features. So it is a, let's go through the stats. It's a 4K monochrome um, six inch display. The build volume is 143 by 89 by 150 on the Z. The overall machine size is 300 by 300 by 500. It's effectively a circle. And a cool little feature is it has a little slidey door. Look at that, a little slidey door. So the good thing with that is that it allows you to keep everything all in one space. It means it's a very compact form factor. You haven't got a door that opens all the way or a hood that has to come all the way up. However, it's not 100% perfect design because the USB drive is still on the side, meaning that when you put the USB drive in, you need at least that much space and the power button for the heater and the power button to turn the machine on are still on the back. I would have liked to have seen those two buttons on the side and the USB drive on the front. But that being said, who is this machine for? So, jewelry applications, entry level dental, hearing aids, orthodontic, engineering parts, that kind of stuff. It has a very high part accuracy, it's 35 ohms, um, and it has a very low part deviation. So of all the parts that I've done, especially when I've done repeat prints, these are all almost exactly the same size, even after curing. Now as well, these parts are done in resin, but they're done in ABS resin. So, um, so they are actually, they are actually really quite tough. Like I can't, I can't break these and I can't even bend them. So the, the, the ABS resin is the resin that is from Amazon. It is iFunds resin, goes with their printer. Has a really, uh, has a really pretty good uh, cure time. So it's about 3.5 seconds a layer for the, um, for the ABS and a 35 second burn in time. I have used Cheeto Box to slice everything for mine. It is a Chi2 box mainboard, so in theory, if you needed to, you could use Lychee Slicer or one of the other slicers out there. I use Chi2 box, specifically I used Chi2 box Pro for this. Um, we have a license, so it's really good for that. Um, there's a couple of other things in this. So when you undo your vat, These come out, they're quite long screws. I'm not really sure why they're quite so long, but they are at least secure. And then this comes out, and as you can see, it's got little handles. I don't really know why, but it does. It's got four, lo it's got, um, four locator pins on the bottom, so when you drop your vat in, it just drops into place like that. The bed comes factory leveled, and I didn't even have to set the Z offset when I um, when I when I started printing with this. I just put resin in it, and off I went. The build platform is got quite a nice carry handle at the front. It does it can be adjusted, so you can um, you can adjust the bed if you feel it is unlevel. But mine came perfectly level from the factory, so that's something I haven't needed to touch. Now, the little party trick of this one is, um, is that it also has a, uh, a VAT heater. So there are two on switches at the back of this machine. We'll do a 360 in a second and you can have a little look. But on the back of this machine, there's an on button to turn the machine on. And then there's another button that lets you turn on the heated chamber. Um, it heats the vat specifically, and then it heats the chamber by, you know, by osmosis more than anything else. Um, so when this is closed, it means that you've got a nice consistent temperature in there. Now, if you run an office that has really powerful air conditioning or something like that, 
working at lower temperatures, especially below about 21 degrees, um, can really start to mess with your resin. So the viscosity of the resin changes, especially so when you're doing ABS stuff and quite a lot of the dental casting as well. Um, so being able to have a heated build vat um, makes a big difference. It keeps that consistent temperature and you're gonna get nice, consistent and even prints when you're printing. So first of all, let's do a 360 of the machine. So as you can see on the back, you've got those two switches. There's also the fan on the back. That fan extracts some of the hot air from the heater. Um, the USB drive is on the side. It has this huge touch screen on the front. It's a five inch touch screen. So the touch screen is nearly as big as some people's printers, which is mad. Um, the design is actually quite nice. I like it. It's nice and compact. Having that sliding door is really useful, but let's take a look at print quality. Okay, so let's start with this. So this one here is a pair of bellows. So all the models that we're showing you today, all of these are being printed for our Back to the Future train that we're currently doing. Everything here is solid as well. None of this is hollowed. So we've got these, I mean, admittedly this one's hollowed, but that's because there's, there's lights that are going in this one. Um, so. There we go. So this one here is the lanterns. We've got this big boy here. So the only issue I had with this was actually in my support settings. So trying to get some of this off, it's still a bit bobbled. So I need to do a little bit of finishing on this one. These wheels were all printed separately from each other, but they're all printed in the ABS. They all have, they are all flat and you can see that dimensionally they are bang on compared to each other. And that's really important when you're talking entry level or dental stuff. When you're talking dental, dental and jewelry casting, accuracy and repeatability are absolutely key to making, the, to, to, to making the parts that you need. So these came out really nicely. We've got some smaller more detailed parts. So this here is part of uh, uh, the train's drive linkage. And this here is the little bell. So as you can see, it has done a fantastic job at printing all of these parts. So these were all done in various orientations. They were done so that they would print as well as possible with as, with as minimal supports. There's a little bit of support work that needs to go on but that's Chi2 box, not the actual printer. So I just need to adjust my settings for that. So really, really happy with that. Let's crack on. So as you can see from that print quality, it is absolutely bang on. There's a few supports on a couple of the models that I haven't managed to um, get off yet. But I mean, the detail is all there. The supports came off beautifully, cured really evenly. There's no Z banding. That Because there's no Z banding is because when I've printed with it, I've been printing in my garage, which does have varying temperatures, but that heated build vat has meant that it's nice and consistent viscosity in my resin, so I don't have to worry about that sort of pronounced Z-banding that you start to see when the temperature's going up and down and all over the place. So overall, the machine's really nice. Now, iFun haven't announced a price for this yet. They've only just launched the machine but I will pop a link in the video description and you guys can check out the iPhone for yourself. You can message them for a quote if you need multiple machines and they will give you a quote accordingly. So thanks very much for joining us guys and dolls. That is the iPhone mini giant. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe guys.